Thank you for joining us for this practice update. I'm Dr. Farzana Hafizullah. Joining me today is Dr. Mehmet Asim Bilen. Dr. Bilen is an assistant professor in the Department of Hematology and Medical Oncology at Emory University School of Medicine. Welcome again, Dr. Bilen. Thank you so much for having me today. Yes. So you, here at ASCOGU 2017, I know that there was also a recent publication at this meeting related to the same-day use of peg prograstin with capacitaxel chemotherapy for prostate cancer. Can you tell us about some of the practical implications of this research? Thank you so much. Although uh, myeloid growth factors is very widely used in solid tumor oncology followed by chemotherapy in addition uh, to prostate cancer, the best timing is not uh, studied well. Because of this reason, we did a retrospective study for patients with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer who receive carbazitoxyl plus minus carboplatin chemotherapy, and we look the infection-related outcome by using same-day's growth factors uh, such, such as pe peg filgrastrim. In our retrospective analysis, uh, we include 150 patients, uh, and then we analyze the infection-related outcome. We also analyze the rate of uh, urinary inflammation because this was previously uh, reported in the literature. Yes. After our analysis, our uh, median overall survival is close to nine months. Uh, and when we look uh, the infection-related outcome uh, during s first cycle, actually same day uh, same day filgrastrim yes. gives uh, less uh, incidence of infection-related outcome versus the 24-hour uh, administration. This is a retrospective study. We need to confirm uh, our findings with a prospective. Yes. But I think same-day uh, growth factor receptor can be used, uh, and, and hopefully we can investigate further uh, with other type of solid tumor and also liquid yes. tumors. Absolutely. Great points and very vital information. I want to thank you again for joining us for Practice Update, and we hope to see you back soon. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Practice Update. I'm Dr. Farzana Hafizullah.